Hello, so nice to be back again, sharing God's word with uh, you on this most important subject of the second coming of Jesus Christ. We are all so excited that the one who loved us and gave himself for us on the cross of Calvary died, buried and rose again, is coming back again. He said he will come and take us to be with him. There is always a prepared place for prepared people. And Jesus encouraged his disciples and said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. We are people who believe in God. We are the people who believe that Jesus is our Savior and our Lord. This evening we are about to begin one more episode on knowing how you and I can be prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ. Glad to have uh, Brother uh, George Pasupala with us. Glad to have Brother Prabhakar, Pastor, with us. We are here to serve you. We are here to speak the word of God with you. We are here to prepare the bride of Jesus Christ for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, in the last days, terrible times will come. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God having a form of godliness but denying its power have nothing to do with such kind of people. You see in the word of God we are encouraged to be different kind of people. Today we are talking about young people. How young people who know Jesus as their personal savior can be different than any other young person on the face of the earth. That's Dr. True. George. Tell us something about young people. Why young people are important for us to talk about? You know, uh, if you look at the census, the world population, 53% of the world population are young people. And especially in India, 65% of the population are young people. They are all, they're all look so handsome, beautiful, and vibrant, you know, they can make and they can break anything. So, s such a way, the this particular this stage is. Young people are very important to God because God loves them. God loves them and God wants to use them. And even the world also, then they are demand of young people. For example, to take up the defense services, they take only young people. They don't take old people. Software side, look at all are young people. Most of them are young people. One of the company, software, the important company, Microsoft, 65% people are young people in Microsoft company throughout the world and most of them are Indians. And not only that, young people are required for the political agitations. Go to any, any agitation is starting with the colleges, universities, young people. They are the people influencing group and God loves them and if young people come to know the Lord and that will be something great, amazing. It's true. Young people, if they come to know Christ, young people can make all the difference both in the church and in the world. Yes. Pastor Prabhakar, yes, sir. throw some light on this very, very important subject about young people. What do you yeah. think about young people? Young people, <clears throat> when we come to the the word very young, when Adam and Eve was created, God did not create them as children. Oh, they were they were created as young men. Yes, yes, young women. You're right. Wow. So the very thought God has, uh, people, the creation of God, should be strong, because the word of God says, young people, I write unto you, you are strong. You're strong, yes. So usually make or break, it is with youth. 
So, throughout the world we have such things and uh, even Jesus Christ when he had to do a sacrifice for the whole world shedding his own blood and dying for the uh, you know sin of the world. He died at the age of 33 and a half years. A young man a again. Young man again. Yes. And uh, you go through the Bible anywhere you see young people. The man who won almost throughout the world died at the age of 35 with uh, you know fever Alexander the Great he was a young man. Oh, yeah. So, he he challenged the whole world even he came to India and he fought with a king called Purushottam mm. at the, uh, the banks, banks of uh, river Jhelum. So, you go anywhere in the world youth are very important as brother uh, George said everywhere in the companies or anywhere for agitation for good or bad youth are used. Uh, therefore, the Lord sees he wants youngsters especially to be saved to come to the knowledge of God, knowledge of Christ. Therefore, I feel this, uh, uh, this young man who writes of course, he was also young when, when he followed Christ John, John the writer right. the beloved disciple mm -hmm. of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. He was also young that is why at the end uh, at the cross he, he handed over his mother Mary to this young man to take care. So, therefore, the youth are very important and throughout the Bible we see uh, the Lord has selected when 17 years old boy uh, David of course, he has taken little more time to become the king and we find uh, lots of young people doing uh, wonderful works and Bible says in Daniel chapter 11 verse 32, they that know their God shall do exploits as the young people. Yeah. Even and the I Daniel was young. Young. Yes. yes. yes they are Daniel all was people. young and mm. David was young. Joseph was young. Shadrach, Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, 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 Meshach. Yes. And these people, you know, when the actually the youth stage, this stage supposed to be used by God. Even Apostle Paul, when he was born again, he was young man. He was young man, like uh, thirty third something thirty. All the disciples, they were all young people. Young, they were young, you know. But today the church is not with filled with young people. That's something bad. So I think. Yeah. I think we need to understand that young people play a very, very important role in the uh, house of God. And yes. uh, one of the concerns many pastors and many churches have is that the young people are not so much interested in being uh, active in the house of the Lord. There must be some reason yeah. why, you know, young people are not so much interested in yeah. the affairs of the church. You know, uh, John in his writing in 1st John chapter 2, he writes to the young people and he, he refers to them as people who have overcome the world Bold. or overcome the evil one. The they strong. are the ones who are strong. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who are strong in the word of God, God because the word of God lives in them. And they are the ones who can overcome the evil. So, that means young people are a dynamic young group or a age group which uh, must be prepared for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you look at How this can verse, young people be hmm. prepared for the If you look at these Lord. verses which you have read already. Yes, sir. Uh, John 2nd chapter was 13c and 14c. You have read both of them and three points are clearly John is mentioning here. Hmm. Number one is they are strong. They are physically strong and spiritually and emotionally very strong. Yes. And that is the reason why the word of God says you are strong. It is a great encouragement for the young people. And today you will see most of the young people and they go to gym. They want to develop their muscle. Yes. And only yes. just 10% uh, people like us, they go there to reduce their weight. Why uh, these people are there? Because they want to become more strong. Bible says already you are strong. They want to become more strong. And second point is that they are victorious. 
Why they are victorious? Because God, word of God lives in them. That's why they, they face challenges as uh, Pastor Prabhakar shared about Alexander. You know, he challenged the world and he became ultimate conqueror. The, the world, uh, he himself, he is the first one who conquered the entire world. He is a young man. Okay, the reason is that Bible also encourages the young people, they have ability to face any challenge. Any challenge. And third thing it is, it is written in 14c, the word of God lives in them because it is a reference to not only to the uh, young in sense, uh, uh, young in age wise, but also new newborn people. I mean, uh, born again new believers. These three areas, if the young people realize, and definitely they can conquer the world, and they they are needed to the church today. So, if they are prepared in their spiritual well-being, mm. if they are well founded in the word of God and if they know how they can overcome the world, I think young people can be a great asset to the house of God, the church God. of Jesus Christ. Yes. How can uh, young people, you know, who struggle, who face the onslaught of the world, overcome the world? How can they overcome the world? You know, in mm -hmm. the same chapter, uh, the author says you have there overcome. are three, yeah. you know, challenges that they, they, they face. Yes. One is the lust of the flesh. flesh lust Number of two, this. the lust of the eyes. Mm -hmm. Number three, pride the of pride life. of life. Brother Prabhakar, please yes. tell us a little bit about these three things young people face and how they can be overcomers. Yeah, um, the lust of the flesh, first of all. The hindrances these people have and we find in the world the lust that is not only the building of uh, muscles, but when we say lust of the flesh, it is the sexual relationship also. The desire flesh. of the flesh. Desire of the flesh. Okay. And we find many people today, uh, even without marrying, Social living, you know. Living relations. Living relations, not loving relations. Mm. Living relations, no marriages. They just go on living. They produce children, and we know what happens. Even the world is uh, prescribing. Even some of the uh, uh, judicial uh, authorities they prescribe that uh, if somebody wants to live in. Because they are adults, yeah. they are allowed to yeah, uh, right. have their freedom. Yes. But uh, the word of God the peop the, speaks you know, differently. The, the world says, just as you feed your stomach because you are hungry, you can also feed your lust, fleshly desires. So that is the order of the world. The order of the world. That is what we find in the Bible, uh, in the in Sodom. So when the Gomorrah. angels came, Saddam and Gomorrah, yes. yeah, Gomorrah, and uh, Saul's family was there, and they wanted to have, you know, relation, fleshly relations with, or sexual relation with the, the angels that came. This is that is a very very important issue yeah. that is happening these days. Yes, the issue of uh, men yeah. with men, yes, and women, women lusting against other women yeah, and mm -hmm. as it speaks in Romans uh, chapter 1. Not only that, a 60 year old man having sexual relation with a 6 year old girl. Yeah, that is a, a pity. The huge pitiable thing that is happening all over the world and in our own country. And in our own, uh, you know, in the, in the you know, Telugu, other Telugu state it happened and finally that man hanged himself and died. So, young people face life in reality, tremendous challenges all around. Brother George, what do you say about these three things that we are talking about? Lust of the flesh, lust of the, flesh, lust of lust the, eyes, of the eyes and pride, pride of, of life. life. And the uh, world says these are all most important for the youth. You know, the world and today you can see pubs and clubs. If any young man is not going to pub and club and they look, other young people have looked at him uh, something like a different. 
So, everybody is after the uh, after this kind of lust, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye. When they look at anything uh, looking very bright and looking very attractive, they want to have it. Today, uh, they look at a lot of heroes, they look at the cricketers. Mad idols. Uh, mm. They are all, um, so I want to become like this, I want to become like this. So, they are having a kind of uh, and they want to follow a models, they want to follow models and their models are becoming failure, this, these people lives also becoming failure. And today, this kind of lust is also coming into the church, mm. whatever, whatever they see in the world, they are bringing into the church. A very and, unfortunate. Ah, it is very unfortunate, say for example, you see you look at one cricketer, another day I have seen in the uh, game, cricketer had a different kind of uh, hair, hair craft cutting. Hair cut. Hair cut. The next day when I went to my church to preach, uh, so some of young young guys, they had the same cut, yes, a hair cut. Imitation. They are imitating. They want to follow some leader. And uh, finally, you know, uh, it is a very miserable thing. They do not they don't find any happiness over there. Again, they are changing, keep on changing. It proved the lust of I never satisfy them. And Bible also proved and even the world, their lives also uh, proved. Even today, you will not find young people much in the church. The reason is that you will not see uh, models, a model preacher or model teacher, a model pastor. Why young people are not coming to the church when we ask question, a parents ask the question, they are giving this kind of answer, you know, I also have young children in my home. They, they give the, this kind of answer, no, I do not like because uh, that man uh, preaches and I do not like this kind of preaching. If you ask a little deeper why, why you are not going, not interested because they say that uh, whatever they preach, they, we are not seeing the same life. Sometimes uh, we may be also cause for young people not coming to the church and uh, if you go to America, I have seen several churches in America hardly two, three young people will be there, rest of them are old people. I think the trend is happening here also in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah many, many young yeah. people, many are young people are, uh, now this is a time for us to talk about how we can prepare our young people for the coming of our Lord Jesus actually, Christ. Actually, youngsters have some problems. Mm. Number one, they have relational problems. Okay. Number two, they have emotional problems. Okay. So, they need a lot of counseling. Yes. And they have social evils such as addicting to the drugs. Addictions. Mm. Addictions and living relations. Okay. And number four, lack of spiritual models just as you told. Yes. And uh, because they preach, but they do not practice. Mm -hmm. And then no confidence in the preacher. That is true. So, these are the five reasons I found that young, we are not able to attract them to the church. But God says, young people, you are so strong. The word of God lives in you. So, this is a challenging time for us as a church yeah. to impress on the young people spiritual values. That is right. And lead them into a relationship with Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and help them to see what Christ can do for them in their lives. That's Would you right. like to hear, uh, we, I think uh, we should hear uh, one young person uh, when he came to Jesus Christ, what does it say? You know, uh, Mark chapter 10 verse 17 to 21 talks about a young ruler mm. and Luke 9 says that is a, is a authority, is one of the, maybe a government Officers. employee, maybe our government officer and you know, he was running, he was running to Jesus Christ and he knelt down in front of everybody and he asked, uh, teacher, what can I do to inherit the eternal life? His question is a wonderful question. He want to enter into the eternal life. He want to have a relationship with eternal God. That is that's what he asked and you know, uh, some of the uh, commentators, they commented like this and this man, they, they found, they evaluated his, this man's life and they said three important things. The, he has a three master degrees. Number one is uh, he has a great manners and he has a wonderful morals and he has a lot of money. 
3 m you know such kind of person publicly coming to the lord and is just kneeling down in front of everybody and is asking jesus you are a good teacher and uh, how can i inherit the eternal life that was a, a wonderful question and you know he has a right question with the right person but only thing is uh, only thing is he is unable to unable to accept the right answer I unfortunately his, yeah his problem was he could not put his priorities right yeah that's yeah. what that's what I, i want to explain here uh, he has a wonderful manners he has a good morals but only thing is his priority he loves god more than god he loves money today young people are after the money see look at the software industries how the young life and these people software industries people they are squeezing the young life taking making a lot of money and software field people not all the people but uh, i have seen several people they whole day they sleep and whole night they work why it is happening because they give more priority for money and just like the same man in the bible and you know finally he is unable to set his priorities jesus christ said that just sell out all your pro- properties and give to the poor and come and follow me he is unable to he is unable to follow jesus because he loves the money today majority of the young people if you ask young man what do you want to become he will tell all all the big big things never talks about the what so the lord never 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 express the reason is their priority is money so we are hearing from yes. what dr george uh, just shared that young people have questions yeah they need answers That's for right. their questions mm-hmm. and this young man which we have seen in mark chapter 10 had the question of inheriting the kingdom of heaven Etern- eternal life eternal inheriting life, eternal life do we have an answer for such young people who have yes. these questions yeah is the church prepared to share god's word i think this is a very very challenging time when churches must arise to meet the needs of the young people young people brother prabhakar so uh, what i would like to share here is young men they need uh, good counseling good counseling yes and uh, even in the church we are trying to prepare even youth for the second coming of christ yes. right so to keep this young men for the coming of christ we need to do certain things number one they need to be counseled with the word of god very true Psalm, Psalm 119.9. Mm. Yes. The word of God is the best answer for their all the problems. Yes. They have solutions nowhere else but in the word of God. Right. So that is number one. And second thing is they need to have the knowledge and discretion. You know? Discretion. What is right, what is wrong. What is wrong. Yeah, discerning. Yes. Discerning. Yeah. So we should lead them in such a way. And the third thing is they need to be encouraged well uh, bible says youngsters definitely will fall yes so when they fall you cannot throw stones on them mm. just like jesus when the woman was caught in adultery he did not hate her rather he calls her mother amma in yes. ma like you know yeah woman with, that's what he with says with much respect yes. yeah much respect yeah which is a more respectable word in the world but she was caught in adultery so we need to encourage the people not to do mistakes not to do sin yes sin but to correct them and then we need to lead them to full surrender just like jesus told this young man but he did not he came with the great desire but went back with the great disappointment yes so we don't want disappoint people so let us lead them and then titus um to titus young man um paul writes like this in titus 26 young man should have sober mind right mind thinking. it is uh, everything is you know we have to the related with mind the problem is with mind so in sober mind in a sense when you go to vernaculars the healed mind 
right thinking right thinking that's right you know the minds are corrupted yes. and satan corrupted the mind of eve right in the garden of eden yes when satan could enter into the garden of eden it is very easy uh, to get into the young people and into the church into the houses therefore we need to correct their thinking and see that they come to the saving knowledge of christ and then prepare them for the second coming of christ very well said yes. young people are very very important yes for god young yes. people have many questions young people needs to be prepared for the second coming of jesus christ young people are challenged with the things of the world yes sir the lust of the eyes the, the lust, lust of the, the flesh eyes. and the pride of life pride of life well said you said is easy to accuse someone yes and then destroy to, them then to help them lead them lead into them. a relationship with jesus christ the challenge is up and high on us yes. to help young people to come to know jesus christ as a personal savior while we are still young i was 17 years old when i came to know christ mm -hmm. as my personal savior and lord yes sir today you know i have almost completed 40 years of being born again mm -hmm. and i have seen what god can do through the lives of young people in their lives yes sir many many people were I, young i have seen uh, several young people those who have come to the lord and they have done great things say for example in india itself a man called brother boxing yes so he was yeah. he was young man when he came to know the lord you see young people they need they need to know the lord once they need to know the lord if they have a relationship with god they can do mighty things absolutely and not only that not only that even in andhra pradesh there was a man called esanna uh, he was a young boy when he came to the know the lord young man and young man you know and he established more than 2000 churches all over the world absolutely he, even though he, he had not gone to college mm -hmm. is a drop out of high school but god has done miracles through him and several examples we can see william carey young man has come to know the lord and has come to india a english man learned 40 languages of indian languages translated the bible into indian languages such a great work can be done through young people that's the reason why god is looking for young people and this is the way we can prepare young people for the lord and for the second coming what a challenge for us to think about yes sir young people dynamic useful strong overcomers of evil unfortunately many of them are not being prepared for the coming of the lord because we have failed in giving them the right gospel helping them to see how they can be mm. saved and live for jesus christ yes. not having right models yeah. as elderly leadership then right atmosphere or right environment in which young people can grow and become useful vessels in the hands of god thank you very much uh, uh brother george brother prabhakar you have been wonderful in sharing Praise your lord. thoughts and uh, i am sure many of us are challenged to lead our young people to christ and prepare them for the second coming of jesus christ jesus is coming again he is coming soon let's prepare all of us for the coming of our lord and savior jesus christ god be with you thank you for this day